Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create a sketch using NX Open Upunk. So uh, I decided this topic because uh, we will be going to use, use this same kind of uh, sketch for uh, other uh, related projects like using block styler or uh, any other kind of programs. Uh, I don't want to repeat uh, the sketching over and over again in future. So I thought of uh, creating a a separate video and keep it uh, uh, for reference because we will be make uh, we will be like uh, in the future we will be make use of this function or uh, uh, like we can just refer this video and we can like if you are new so if you are, we can actually okay so in future we will just refer this video if there is any doubt means you, you guys can refer this video and get the function out of it so that's the idea so let's get, get started with this uh, so to, to create a sketch okay let's create a new project in Visual Studio so I'm going to create a new project let's name it as a okay let's select our class library.net framework Click next. Okay, uh, create a sketch under dot framework 4.5. Create. It's going to be the DLL project. So let's add the references. Okay, now it's added. So let's start with our uh, default entry point, public static void main. So it's a string uh, argue arguments. By default, this is the format they kind of uh, maintaining it for the entry point uh, programs. So next is we added references but we have to add here to make a shortcut inside our program. So NX open. So using NX open because we are going to use the UFUNC methods. So I'm going to use the UOF session. Okay, get the session. I'm just going to be a real quick man uh, to guys because it's a uh, kind of repeated you think we are doing in this videos so I think you guys know it uh, if you already watched my previous videos if you haven't watched it please go back and watch it yeah okay the typos we are we are going to get the work part from here that's that work the, the current part actually because we already created a I'm just created a new part so this is going to be our work part so now we will be using this particular function uh, which is from ufunk in NX open so they say it's a uh, it creates an empty empty sketch and uh, the thing is like the following restriction of us your sketch initial sketch must have been previously called so we need to call this function to create a new sketch means prior to this function we have to call this function so what is the input here they need a string and uh, output is our object okay we need to give a name for the sketch so string uh, name like uh, custom Think we can give you any name, no, it's not gonna be a problem. So, we have the your question dot sketch dot create sketch. Okay, this is uh, another function, right? We have to initialize this first. 
sketch dot initialize sketch so ref name and the out is our uh, output is a tag i'm just uh, declaring it on the go so there is no need to specify it uh, here or somewhere there is nothing so here what we have to give so we can we can just go back okay here name sketch name must be okay we can i think we can pass the same name and here i will be using the second option because we have two options as a integer input so sketch on face datum plane or we have to specify the csys coordinate systems okay for um, uh, making it as simple so if you can see i will go with the second option so which i personally feel uh, it's very straightforward and easy so if you want to try you can try both options okay okay let's give the same name here and now we need a option that's two matrix matrix of uh, what okay now i selected option two so i need for option two they are asking x axis y axis matrix and uh, origin of csys okay in in the form of a double array which will have uh, nine values yeah it's obviously we need nine values because the x axis y axis will be a vector 3d values and the origin also will have x y z so i think uh, it makes sense so now we have we need to have an array of double which will be our matrix oh come on Maybe I need to improve my typing speed. Okay, now we need a matrix, right? So how to do it? Okay, uh, let's get all the datum planes or uh, datums from the work part. I think it's a datum collection. I'm going to use the NX open method here to get all the datums. So the work part. Okay, the part dot datum so this basically will give our uh, complete datum available in in this particular uh, uh, part so you can see i just get into it this level like in the datum collection class have datum access and datum planes and everything which we need because we need we need datum access as well as uh, datum planes so for now, since I already specified the CSYS method, I need only the axis, x axis and y axis. So which means I need only this. So we have our datum collection. Now I'm going to use uh, a loop concept. So we can just uh, uh, loop through all the datums and get the x axis and y axis. Y axis. Okay. So, so I'm going to use use the for each loop for this so for each where datum in datum collection so in this line why i used to bear keyword you know uh, this is uh bear we, we don't know what kind of uh, uh, what kind of objects inside this datum collection because we are we want to look through the complete collection so earlier i showed you it the thing is like it will get it will have everything so we have to uh, uh, this keyword will help us to get everything as a just a variable just a kind of object so which will not have any kind of specific type like we don't know at the moment like whether it's a data access or data class so we we, we kind of uh, like going to check it in a loop so that's why i used to this bad keyword if you want you can check it in a google what is the use of var keyword in c okay so var keyword i am going to use if condition to check exactly what what kind of object we are getting on each iteration so datum dot 
get type equals and we are going to uh, check it whether it is a type of data access because we need only the access right we specified the type of data access so if, if that is a data access then we are going to check it whether it is a x axis or y axis and uh, based on that we will pass it to as a variable and we will just uh, store the values so that's why i'm doing this looping here so okay if it is a data access then we are going to get it in a data access object so i'm going doing the type type casting here so the data so this is how we we, are, we need to do the type casting so i'm just uh, making sure this object belongs to the data access uh, class means uh, so uh, because this condition is being passed and uh, this is checking and uh, if this item satisfy this particular condition then we will get the value here so why I access to data class data access like uh, we will access the vectors here oh, it's not coming okay dot let's copy paste in fact what we got so the values will be on matrix dot direction yeah so it will give us our vectors so we need this direction only so we we need a vector 3d vector 3 values vector 3d values so we can store it in a variable so we define one vector 3d variable here vector 3d uh, x axis so we will just initialize it a structure so we are going to pass it hence the value we will be passing it here so what is the error is that a function no it's not a function then why we are getting error okay the namings okay data access 3d Okay, now we have a data axis and we will be checking whether it is a x, x axis vector or y axis vector. So, if this equals 1, so we, we, we kind of uh, concluding that it's gonna be the x axis vector, we will be getting it. So, here something is that. Okay, semicolon. Okay, now we have the axis which is which which will be the x-axis for our sketch. Okay, so we can even simplify this. Actually, why we need to get this under here? So I'm going to directly pass this value, and we, we will be assigning it here if this uh, this one is passed. Okay. So that data data access. So we don't need this line. Dot direction. That's it. Because we can avoid the extra line of code, which will it will be like uh, serving the same purpose. So now we have x axis confirmed here. So now we also need a y axis, right? Because we uh, remember we have a uh, two axes we need, so now we have only x axis, and uh, we are going to check it again with y axis value like y equals 1.0. Then we will be access we will be assigning to another variable, another vector 3D variable for y axis. So I will just specify y 
and uh, this one for understanding i will rename it to x so this will be x and this will be y so that's it guys so we have the axis ready so which will give us the vector 3d values so we have the matrix ready and the origin we, i will pass the default uh, uh, default of center origin which means 0 0 for x y z everything okay now we need we need to check okay once the loop complete here we are going to check it if the values were assigned for our datum 3d axis so i'm just going to check it dot y sorry x equals 1 and datum x is 3d y is equal to 1 so which means whether we have the values assigned here so that's why i'm just checking it here so if this condition is passed then we are good to go with the pitch creation so now we need to have the matrix right so we need to assign the values to matrix matrix zero will have x axis x value i'm just going to copy it and paste it for another nine times sorry seven times i think so this will hold the y value okay let's do like this and we need one more value because we have totally nine so we need the last value as 8 and here it starts with the x, uh, sorry, y axis okay Okay, here we don't have to pass these values because we are going to pass the origin values. Remember, here they are asking 6 to 8 values should be origin of CSOAS. So I'm just going to take the default origin from our uh, sketching environment or the modeling environment. So that's it, guys. So we have the matrix ready. Now we can pass the matrix. And next, the input is tag object. I think for this we don't have to pass because if our option is 1 then we need this object so now we don't have to pass this object so we need to pass the null in the empty tag some tag for the, because they need to be initialized at least so we will be passing this tag without any values and reference reference and direction for option 1 so again this is for option 1 so which is a integer so we need to have an empty integer array ok refs equal to new int ok ok and the plane direction we can directly give i think uh, outwards from pan body or inward okay you can give any option i think so again i'm just going to outward it and the uh, sketch will have uh, the output output tag of the sketch will be created here so sketch tag okay now we are ready we are good to go i think it will create the sketch we kind of activate it once create okay for that i'm going to use the session object dot active sketch because this is only sketch we are going to activate it so i thought of showing it uh, in our orientation 
thing because that will make some kind of animation going in the back back side like it will just reorient the view okay we have a build succeed which and uh, i'm just for the safety purpose i will change my cpu to 64 bit because we will get the entry point error sometimes now we are good ready to run this okay any problem okay it's running it's fine we have the sketch and we have the sketch created with this name what we assigned the custom sketch so here is our custom sketch okay that's it guys